During the Capitol siege on January 6th, both Republican and Democratic lawmakers had to shelter together while the siege was taking place, and some Republicans decided to refuse to do even the bare minimum to protect their own colleagues from COVID-19. They refused to wear masks, and this was caught on video. So you can't really make out what they're saying, but you can see that they are refusing to wear masks that were offered to them. And, uh, you know, when it comes to Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, you see her just condescendingly smirking as if she's too good to wear a mask. I don't wear masks. That's stupid. You believe in a lie. Like these folks are absolutely, uh, they're insane. And the fact that they would recklessly endanger the lives of their colleagues, like your co-workers. It's astonishing to me. Now, the folks who refuse to wear a mask, this includes QAnon conspiracy theorist, of course, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who we saw on camera, Mark Wayne Mullen, who we also saw on camera, Andy Biggs, who actually helped organize that coup, by the way, Scott Perry, Michael Cloud, and Doug LaMalfa. Now, as a direct result of these folks refusing to wear a mask, guess what happened? Well, the result was predictable. They ended up infecting their own colleagues. Three Democrats so far have stated that they have COVID-19 and they're blaming their Republican colleagues. This includes Democratic Representative Brad Schneider, who tested positive and blamed maskless Republicans during the Capitol riot. And also this includes cancer survivor Bonnie Watson Coleman, who uh, tested positive, according to Ida Chavez, and she believes she was also exposed while sheltering with colleagues who refused to wear a mask during the Capitol riot. Now, another Democratic lawmaker who believes they were infected by their Republican colleagues is Pramila Jayapal, who tweeted out, I just received a positive COVID-19 test result after being locked down in a secured room at the Capitol where several Republicans not only cruelly refused to wear a mask, but recklessly mocked colleagues and staff who offered them one. Only hours after Trump incited a deadly assault on our Capitol, many Republicans still refused to take the bare minimum COVID-19 precaution and simply wear a damn mask in a crowded room during a pandemic, creating a super spreader event on top of a domestic terror attack. Yeah, and I think she put it perfectly. This became a super spreader event. I mean, when you can't even do the bare minimum and put on a mask to protect your colleagues, especially when you're not taking it seriously, like you downplay the severity of COVID-19 and you, you brag about not wearing masks in Georgia. That's what Marjorie Taylor Greene did. It's just, there's no, no respect. And it goes beyond a lack of respect for your colleagues. It speaks to how out of touch with reality they are. They don't want to wear masks when they're sheltering in close quarters during a fucking pandemic. I mean, at this point, what month are we in? Uh, month 11? 10 of the pandemic and there are folks who still don't get the message we have thousands of americans dying every fucking day and you still don't take it seriously these folks should not be in a position of power like you infected your democratic colleague bonnie watson coleman who survived cancer her immune system probably is one that isn't very strong you might want to protect these folks, but they don't care. They don't care because if they were seen with a mask, then they might um, they might pay a political price because they have this base of psychopaths that they want to maintain. I don't know. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she was wearing a mask on the House floor during the impeachment uh, proceedings for Donald Trump. And on the mask, it said censored. So like on one hand, I'm glad that she is wearing a mask, but she still takes that opportunity to like project how stupid she is to the world because as you wear a mask and you claim that you're censored, you're literally speaking to the world. Like everyone is watching. It's being broadcasted on so many different networks. You have the largest platform imaginable and you're claiming you're being censored. Like the stupidity, it's, 
I don't know what to do with this. Like, how do you move forward as a country with these kind of folks? Like, these aren't just like run-of-the-mill Karens that we see in viral videos. These are lawmakers. These folks have power. They write legislation that controls our lives, and these idiots refuse to do the bare minimum during a pandemic. I don't know what to say. It is absolutely outrageous. And if I, if I were one of these folks, Brad uh, Schneider, Bonnie uh, Watson Coleman, Pramila Jayapal, I'm looking at holding them accountable in some way. I don't know if this constitutes reckless endangerment, but I mean, if one of these individuals ends up dying as a result of these Republicans' behavior, refusing to wear a mask, I mean, how do we not consider that manslaughter when they know what they're doing? Like, if you're smart enough to at least get elected to Congress, you've got to know that during a pandemic, not wearing a mask could spell doom for one of your colleagues who might be immunocompromised or might not be able to survive COVID-19. Like, it's just... The state of American politics, because of the Republican Party, is just, uh, it's its a circus. And I don't know what else to say. This is a circus. And, uh, you know, the animals have taken over the zoo. It's just, I feel bad for anyone who has to work with these idiots. Um, Don Byers, someone who uh, is a Democratic lawmaker, actually tweeted or retweeted a video of Marjorie Taylor Greene where she's seen, like, walking the halls of Congress, explaining why she voted against impeachment because it's a waste of time. And he said, imagine working with this woman. And uh, I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically the sentiment. Like, I couldn't imagine it. Like, working with someone like that is just insane. And, you know, in my years uh, working in fast food and retail, I've worked with crazy people, but I don't think any of them even come close to someone like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Like, these folks are just next level insane and they are very very obviously not fit to serve in congress like they're now endangering you know their uh their colleagues and that that just can't stand there has to be repercussions legally politically i don't know but this is not acceptable